everyone, it's Melvin here. Hey everyone, it's Melvin here on this beautiful day. <laughs> Got these ducks. I'm here to do a video on how to start loving yourself. Uh, and I can only speak from personal experience. You know, I didn't, I didn't love myself. Definitely didn't love myself a couple of years ago. Uh, I wasn't treating myself good. I wasn't treating my body good. Uh, I was pretty, I was pretty self-destructive. You know, and um, what I would say to start loving yourself is start taking care of yourself and start putting yourself first. Whether it's saying no to others, uh, removing toxic people in your life, or if you have really bad habits, stop those habits, man. Let me tell you some of my worst habits. Um, the ones that I can say anyway. Um, some of my worst habits. What the hell is that? Some of my <laughs> maybe that was a duck. Some of my worst habits was gaming. Gaming was like the biggest thing that I had to overcome. One of the biggest things. Stop gaming. You know why it was toxic for me? People can game and it's fine for them, but for me, um, I stopped talking to my friends. I stopped going out. I didn't do anything that was positive to further myself in life. I would have been a lot further now if it wasn't for gaming. I probably would have been in finished schooling and all this stuff if it wasn't for gaming. Uh, if you're in an abusive relationship, get the hell out of that relationship. Um, if you're around toxic people, remove yourself from toxic people. Exercising, help me. All right. Um, you know, there's just some people that you can you see on an every you know everyday daily basis that are miserable. Maybe they have their reasons for it. You know, at work or whatever. People that are just always upset. They're yelling, and those people suck you in with their negativity don't let those people upset you don't let them pull you in um, don't let them suck you dry uh, you know do what you have to do for yourself and stop being if you're a people pleaser like me a yes person stop doing that all the time you know take care of yourself go to your doctor's visits you know get your checkup take some multivitamins exercise um, start cooking uh, whatever you love to do eat healthy once in a while man treat your body right your body does so much uh and deals with so much and there's like thousands of things going on at one time and people treat their body like trash i did for a long time you know and i and i feel like now in life i'm at a different level i've uh i've matured but i'm still really silly and crazy you know but like, for example, I love spinach and kale. I never in my life thought I would say I'd like eating spinach and kale. But I like eating spinach and kale. And it's healthy and it's good for you. Um, today, I exercised. And I feel really good. I've been exercising every day. My body feels good. Mentally, I feel good. I'm out here on this beautiful day, chilling, doing this video. Right? Uh, compared to where I was a couple of years ago where... I was happy at times and I was miserable at other times and now I'm just really happy. You know, I still have my ups and downs of course and that's normal in life and that's nature, right? But how I started loving myself was I stopped gaming, I started exercising, I started eating right and I cut out the toxic people in my life. Those were the, the biggest changing factors in my life. <clears throat> and then I started doing things for myself, self-improvement putting money in my savings account, thinking about the future, doing things that I love to do, um, improving my credit, getting a car, changing your perspective, all right? That's another thing, changing your perspective on life or just daily things that you deal with. Um, being okay with falling, but always getting back up. Uh, I think those were some of the biggest changes that I made and um, facing my fears. That was another huge thing that I did to improve my life, the quality of my life. And uh, some of that was part of, um, like my girlfriend helped me out a little bit with that. Not directly, but indirectly, because uh, when we started dating, I was scared as hell. Uh, I was nervous about everything, and I faced my fears with that. A lot of times, too, I get social and anxiety. And people can't even tell. I've told my friends this, and they're like, what, Melvin, you? like. I could never even tell. I get, I get nervous sometimes. I'm really self-conscious. And look at me now. I'm doing videos online. And I'm uploading them. And sometimes I'm recording and people are walking around me and I get kind of nervous. 
And I'm still working on that. But facing your fears, that's one of the big things. Because then when you face your fears and you overcome them, you just feel so much better. Um, putting yourself in uncomfortable positions. Sometimes when you're too comfortable, uh, it's not a good thing. My previous job, I was too comfortable. I slacked, I let a lot of things fall by the wayside. And that helped me wake up when I fell, you know? So getting out of your comfort zone, taking care of yourself, going to your doctor visits, get it, doing things that's positive for yourself and positive for your life. That's how you start loving yourself. And it doesn't just, you know, I look this topic up so many times. How do you love yourself? You know, and it's like, nobody can really tell you. I think it's something that you start feeling. And it's not just all at one time. You don't just start taking care of yourself and boom, you love yourself. Because I think it's still for me, it's a, it's a work in process. But I've come such a long way. I can now say that I, I do love myself. You know, um, I want to take care of myself. I want to have a long life. Uh, I want to be there for my kids, my family. <clears throat> um, you know, and it's not just, it's not all at one time. It's, it's a slow progression. So don't think that you're going to start doing changing things. You know, actually... Let me tell you this. This is, this is something I read online, I think, somewhere. And this is something I've learned, too. When you're doing change and you're changing things in your life, um, sometimes people want immediate results. And that's just not the way things work out. Unless you're really lucky, that's just not the way things work out. So let's say now I'm making a change in my life. And now you start working out. A lot of times, even though you're changed now, you're still dealing with the past. Uh, effects to the past things that you've done so even though you're changing now and you're doing things now you're not might not see those results till the full results till later on in the future and then in the future uh, you're gonna be in a better position and you're gonna be feeling you're gonna be seeing the future you're gonna be seeing results of the past so everything you're doing now is for now but it's also for the future right and in the future you're gonna be uh, rewarded because of the things you did in the past it's like a it's like a big circle I actually wrote something about this it's called the uh, I think it's called the future past and present or something like that so a lot of times in life uh, and even like in the Bible they say you know the, the smart people the smart like even ants like ants that harvest right they harvest for the winter or, or in, anybody that prepares for the future right you're doing things now for the future, so when you get to the future and it's your present, uh, you're in a better place, you're in a better spot. So, if you change your life around and you're not seeing results, you have to be patient, okay? Um, how to start loving yourself. Do things that make you happy. Do at least one thing. I challenge you. If you don't love yourself, if you're watching this, I challenge you to do one thing a day. Once a day, do something that's going to further improve yourself, whether it's if you're bad at paying bills, start writing a budget or maybe pay one bill, you know, a day or write a reminder to pay your bill. Do a little exercise. Um, me, when I started exercising, I would just walk, just walk around the block, walk around the park. Um, just do what you need to do in your life to improve yourself and don't be affected by too many like other people's opinions. Don't let them wear you down. Um, focus on yourself like I said in my other videos uh, say no to people don't always be a yes person don't let people run over you um, you know just improve your health do things for yourself and then you can do things for others because if you can't help yourself how are you going to help anybody else you can, if you don't love yourself how are you going to love anybody else how are you going to really love anybody else if you can't love yourself you know that's why it's really important that you take care of yourself if you have kids take care of yourself it's, just, it's, it's like this too if you think about it all right if you ever flown on an airplane right and you see the instructions for like the air mass that come down uh the instructions are you're supposed to if something happens an emergency you're the parent and you have a kid you're supposed to put that air mask on yourself first and do you know why do you know why because if you don't do that to yourself first and you're trying to get it on your child what happens if you run out of oxygen and you pass out or whatever? You can't take care of your child. Your child's not going to get that air if they don't know how to use it either themselves. So that's why it's very important.
to take care of yourself so that you can take care of others. Love yourself so you can love others. Some of my final thoughts on this uh, loving yourself is, like I was saying before, cutting off toxic people. It's not just about that. It's also about cutting off negative triggers. All right, if you have some friends or people that uh, they do what you've over overcame and you're what you're trying to stay away from, like let's say you're you had a gaming addiction. I never had it. I gamed a lot, but I never had a gaming addiction. Okay, just for the record. But let's say you have a gaming addiction. You have friends that are into that, and every time you go over there, it's like you have to do it. Cut off those negative triggers. If there's something in your life that you know is going to trigger you doing something, stay away from that until you're comfortable, or just stay away from it altogether. That's how you know you're loving yourself. You're being in tune with yourself. You're being true to yourself. Uh, you know, and you you're doing what you have to do to improve, right? Uh, so toxic people, negative triggers. Uh, take some time to yourself, right? If you have to, uh, sometimes I like to have a nice cup of tea, a nice cup of tea or a glass of wine. You know, be to myself, get to know yourself. Uh, go outside in nature, right? T uh, enjoy the beautiful air, the nature, the trees, everything that we take for granted. Unplug yourself from the matrix and just absorb this, you know, life, right? And Sometimes, you know what else helped me um, uh, get to the next level and learn how to love myself? Uh, and like I said, it's still a, a work in progress, but I, I do love myself. Uh, sometimes forgiving people that have done you wrong, right? Now, I've forgiven some of the people that have done me wrong, but I don't hang out with those people and I don't associate that with them. doesn't mean you have to talk to them, but you need to, if you're holding out to some sort of anger or something inside that you carry around with you, let it go. All right, just let it go, move on. You're in a better place in your life. You don't need to be hanging on to that negativity or, or holding that within your heart. So I would say that that's helped me grow too. All right, so if you have any ideas on how to love yourself, self-improvement, uh, comment, like, subscribe, let me know what you've done in your life. Um, you know, and sometimes it's too talking to people. I've talked, sometimes I talk to random strangers like at work. And people seem to, I don't know what it is, they open up to me. And I've had some pretty deep conversations with people that, you know, I don't even know. You know, and sometimes people are so, like, they have these blinders on, like I was saying before. They're not receptive to what's going on around them. They don't know how to communicate or talk to people because we're so locked in into electronics. And I love my electronics. You know, I, I can't lie. I am one of those people that's locked in. But it's so amazing sometimes the people that you can meet. And you can talk to them, the experience and the wisdom that you can gain from talking to some people. All right. So thank you for watching. Have a God bless day. Thanks. Take care.